Hi, this is John with Bank Account Bonus Central, and today's video is all about One Finance. Which one? This one and this one. So, One Finance, they're currently offering a $135 checking account bonus for new customers. This is a nationwide offer available for everybody in the United States. Uh, One Finance. Love One Finance, uh, definitely want to check out this bonus if you're not currently a customer of One Finance. If you're a customer and you're curious what changes they have because they have gone through uh, some changes, then you definitely want to check out this video as well. Uh, before I begin to it, I uh, want to have a quick disclaimer. I am a customer of One. I am also an affiliate of One. This is my personal review of what they're having to offer for informational purposes only. All the information is current as of the time of this recording. So quick question, why do people get paid? People get paid to solve problems. What problems do banks have? Well, banks need new customers and they're willing to pay nicely to get new customers. So one is not technically a bank, they are a FinTech. Um, they are backed by Coastal Community Bank. So if you do open an account with them, your money goes to Coastal Community Bank, uh, which has the FDIC insurance up to 250,000, which is definitely what you want in a bank account. Uh, but One Finance handles everything else besides that, the customer service, which is excellent. Um, so how much money are we talking about getting paid? So in the year 2022, I have a $2 million challenge. What does that mean? I want to help at least 1,000 people get at least $2,000 each from bank bonuses from these videos. What other channel besides Bank Account Bonus Central is wanting to help people get such money? Uh, if you're a fan of such profitable content, go ahead, do me a favor, smash a thumbs up on this video. And as my buddy RJ would say, let's get to work. All right. So one finance, they say do more with your money. So that's our new tagline. One finance, it is primarily an app. They also do have a website. When you sign up, you do need to sign up through an app, but you can log in to a website afterwards. All right, so they have bonuses times four. The first one is get 50 bucks for a referral. Uh, use my referral link. Uh, once you have a qualifying direct deposit of $250 or more, use the referral link, which is right here. Uh, it's also in the description box down below. So this one's pretty easy just to type into your, um, you can type it into your uh, computer um, into the address bar, which is not too long at all. Um, and then I'll show you what's going to happen. So that's the first bonus is uh, $50. And then you chain two ways for new customers to get cash back. So once you have an eligible deposit, this does stack. The $50 referral bonus does stack with this $25 bonus. So the $250 um, direct deposit will get you $75 plus earn another $10 after your first purchase on the debit card of $10 or more. So and then they have another bonus, which is 2% cash back. This is just for new customers. This is not for existing customers. 2% uh, cash back on everyday spending at Walmart. So that is a pretty sweet deal right there. So cash back a daily into your account to save or spend how you like. Get 2% cash back on purchases at Walmart, as well as gas stations and drug stores up to 50 bucks. For your first 12 months, the cash back does not, you earn, does not expire. So it's always a really nice thing to see debit cards have decent cash back. So definitely a fan of that. If you add all of them up together, the $50 referral, $25 direct deposit, that's 75 plus the $10 plus uh, the $50 uh, and 2% cash back. That's $135. What's not to like about that. They do have interest rate of 1% APY on up to $25,000 if you have eligible direct deposits uh, going in monthly and up to $5,000 without direct deposit. You can turn on card roundups to save automatically every time you spend. Uh, roundups, the best number um, I've used for that is a dollar and one cent. So your dollar and one cent is gonna round up to $2. So you have a dollar and one cent spent on whatever you're gonna spend it on anyways and 99 cents rounds up to uh, go into your savings account. They also have uh, custom pockets for budgeting needs uh, or setting up goals. So you can create up to three custom pockets, which uh, grows at 1% APY. Uh, what I love about One Finance, they have zero monthly fees, zero minimums, and zero hassles. I hate jumping through hoops uh, to keep my accounts fee-free at places like Chase and 
Wells, uh, not Wells Fargo, uh, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, uh, and stuff like that. So no monthly fees. I'm definitely a huge fan of that. Fee-free overdraft protection, um, not really a fan of any sort of overdraft protection. I'd much rather just shut the overdraft protection off and not get into bad habits. Sure, it may be fee-free, but bad habits are still bad habits financially. Um, you only want to have good financial habits as you'll reap rewards from that. They are digital wallet ready for Google Pay and Apple Pay. And then, uh, so this is, uh, once again, here's the referral link. Um, you can, uh, interest in this uh, bonus, definitely type that into your computer and you're going to get a QR code to download and you can download the app and sign up from there. So bank account bonus central verdict on this $135 in four bonuses for one finance is definitely a solid offer. Take advantage of this. I mean, I am a one finance sure and I'm affiliate for them but I'm also a customer of theirs for life. Um, changes that they have gone through, um, something I was wanting to mention, is that basically since um, they uh, launched their new app recently, there's kind of two tiers for their accounts. There's the old tier. I signed up as soon as Simple Bank went out of existence and they offered a bonus, it was like $100, to sign up for former Simple customers. I've been there with One Finance ever since. Um, and basically, they still do have 3% savings. That's grandfathered in, and it's something I'm going to keep for life. God willing, they're going to keep it like that. Um, the new customers, they don't have the 3% APY, but they also have $135 in bonuses. So it's definitely something to consider. Um, banking is extremely competitive, and you definitely want to take advantage of what different places have to offer. And, you know, why not give them a try and see if you like what they have to offer? Um, quick thing is I still do have comments off for these videos, but I can be reached at churningadventures at gmail.com. I'll get back to you. And also today's question is how can I know if the Bible is the word of God and not just stories made up by man? Recently had a conversation with a buddy of mine and he said he only had two problems with Christianity, Jesus and the Bible. Well, those two are pretty big obstacles uh, for Christianity. So um, I asked him to consider a part in uh, the book of Daniel, Daniel chapter 2. If you actually take the time and study what is in Daniel chapter 2, it is absolutely mind-blowing. So if I can ask you, if do you have, can you tell me with 100% accuracy, who's going to be the next president of the United States? You'd be like, uh, I'm not completely sure. What about the next president 100 years from now, 200 years from now? 2,000 years from now. The crazy thing about Daniel chapter 2 is there's literally hundreds of prophecies that literally tell the, the story of the world, which is like beyond amazing. I mean, there's stuff in there that still hasn't happened. And everything else that has happened has just been to the exact detail. Um, brief synopsis of Daniel chapter 2 is a uh, pagan king named Nebuchadnezzar. He was the worldwide dictator, uh, ruler over Babylon. He had a dream, and he wanted his wise men, his enchanters, uh, to be able to, and, hey, he said, tell me the dream and the interpretation. If not, I'm going to kill you and your family and your household, and burn your house. I mean, so Daniel, the soothsayers, the magicians, the astro uh, astronomers, astrologers, they could not interpret the dream. So then Daniel received wisdom from God, and he was able to. Here's the uh, brief thumbnail sketch of it. He says, You, O king, were watching. A great statue appeared. A great and dazzling statue stood before you. Its form was awesome. The head of the statue was pure gold. Its chest and arms were silver. Its belly and thighs were bronze. Its legs were iron. Its feet were part iron and part clay. As you watched, the stone was cut, not by human hands. It struck the statue on the feet of iron and clay and crushed them. The iron, clay, bronze, silver, and gold were shattered and became like chaff on the threshing floor in summer. The wind carried them away. Not a trace of them could be found. But the stone that struck the entire statue became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. That is literally the story of the world. Um, so basically, long story short, the huge statue. 
the gold the head of gold was nebuchadnezzar that was the babylonian empire in the book of jeremiah it says nebuchadnezzar his son and grandson were going to be the three rules of the babylonian kingdom and then they're going to be shut down um the writing on the wall that's straight from the book of daniel nebuchadnezzar's grandson was killed by darius the mede um which is the medes and persians medes and persians are the next part you have the head of gold that's the babylon empire the chest of and arms are silver that talks about the medes and persians they were the worldwide dictators afterwards they lasted for hundreds of years um after that the belly and bra and thighs were bronze um it goes into great detail talking about alexander the great and the greeks uh the greek empire alexander the great he's not mentioned by name, but basically he died without somebody to take over. And it was given over to not a son, but four generals. And it talks about the four generals in great details. After the Greeks were the Romans, the Iron Empire. They, that empire lasted a long time. Um, and then finally, the empire that still is yet to come is uh, part iron and part clay. It tells the book of Daniel, I believe, in chapter 11 or chapter 12. I've read this book like 50 times. It's Every time it's just beyond amazing. It talks about details about future, uh, the final world dictator. I mean, it is mere humans could not come up with the entire story of the world thousands of years after it happened. I mean, after Daniel died, the details of this were where people said it was written after Daniel died, but it wasn't. So phenomenal stuff, something to, to consider. Study the book of Daniel, you'll see humans could not have written scripture because the amount of details and how everything happened, detail by detail by detail, the world empires, I mean, it is just beyond amazing. Uh, there's a link here on how to follow Jesus, if there's something you're interested in. Uh, second thing I want to mention is Covenant Eyes. My family uh, uses Covenant Eyes on the computer I'm recording this video on, cell phones we use, laptops. Um, there's over 4 million pornographic websites out there with stuff that really shouldn't be seen. Um, the average age of a person is exposed to pornography is 10. Um, so this is something, and once you get exposed to it, I was exposed before I was 10. Um, it's difficult to stop, you know? So this is a proven system to help either people not get started by blocking stuff that shouldn't be accessed. Um, and it helps people to overcome, um, this type of addiction. So, Definitely want to check that out. I've got links for that in the uh, description box down below. Uh, also, if you're still here with me, do appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, like, share, and subscribe as I do make profitable content on a consistent basis. And with that, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace and may God bless you.